I want to know what you're talking about with this collision. Allegations that District Attorney Rosemary Lindbergh was involved in a hit-and-run accident the night of her arrest are now being withdrawn. Court documents filed in the case to remove her say she hit another vehicle before leaving the scene. But the attorney who made those claims spoke with KXAN a short time ago. Our Chris Sadegi spoke with him and has more. Hey, Robert, a vehicle was sideswiped about four and a half miles from where Lindbergh was arrested for DWI back on April 12th. But allegations that she was involved fizzled just a couple hours ago. This after a petition to remove her thought all the dots had been connected. I, I want to know what you're talking about. Remember this video? It's once again being looked over, specifically this part of the conversation. We also have a report of a possible collision involving your vehicle up near the church. Wouldn't me. Wouldn't you? No. Throughout the conversation, Rosemary Lindbergh denies she was involved in a collision, but deputies at the time saw connections. The vehicle description that left the scene matches the description of this vehicle right here. Aside from the description, they also found more possible links themselves. You got some, some minor collision, collision damage to the front no, of your vehicle. No, I don't. There's, there's paint transfer let's and paint look. spray. I'm more than happy to show you here in a moment. Yeah, let's go do that. In court documents filed in an effort to remove the DA, Austin attorney Rick Reed states that he had a 911 call where a witness gives a license plate matching Lindbergh as the car that clipped a vehicle on Ranch Road 620 and kept going. But when we talked to the Travis County Sheriff's Office on Wednesday... So far, we've not found any evidence whatsoever that her vehicle was involved in a leaving the scene collision. Spokesman Roger Wade said they reviewed the 911 calls from that night and none of them connected Lindbergh's license plate to the collision. And nothing else they've seen since does either. All the calls we reviewed, no, nobody's given a license plate number except the person calling in the DWI. And they didn't report any anybody hitting anything. And we talked to Rick Reed, who filed the petition around 4.30, and he said that the petition was filed and based on facts that he had before other information was released. He said after seeing that new information and talking with County Attorney David Escamilla, he now does not believe Rosemary was involved in that hit and run. Now on KXAN.com, you can hear the 911 call that was released today in which the driver says he did not get a good look at the vehicle. We're in the studio tonight, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. Thank you, Chris. If you have a tip for our Investigates team, email us at investigates at KXAN.com. You can also call our tip line. That number is 512-703-5255.